Hello and welcome to this tutorial in the Orca series. This time we are going to see how we can open the doors of internet using Orca. We will use the Firefox web browser along with Orca. This is because Firefox has the best accessibility with any screen reader available. So let's first start Orca by going to the run dialog using Alt plus F2. Then we will enter Orca. Welcome to Orca. Now, press Alt plus F1 to open the Applications menu. Right Alt. Top Expanded Edge Panel Frame. Applications menu. The Firefox web browser is in the Internet menu. So, keep pressing the down arrow till you locate the Internet menu. Down. Accessories menu. Down. Education menu. Down. Games menu. Down. Graphics menu. Down. Internet menu. Now, Press the right arrow to open the sub-menu. Right. Chromium web browser. Now again locate Firefox web browser with the down arrow and hit enter on it. Down. Empathy I am client. Down. Firefox web browser. Return. X Nautilus desktop frame. My home desktop configuration file icon. Applications menu menu. Firefox application modular Firefox frame. 50% Finished loading home spoken tutorial.org Facebook Enter the terms you wish to search for text Left control There you are Orca tells us that the browser has finished loading the page In my case it is the spoken tutorial page And did you hear Orca telling us the percentage of activity being completed? The reason is that we have a setting in the speech tab of Orca preferences for this Press insert plus space to open Orca preferences and in the case of laptops, you can use caps lock plus space. Caps lock space. Starting Orca preferences. Orca preferences. Tab list. General page. Now since we are at the general page, we will press the right arrow to go to the speech page. Right. Speech page. Now. Let's locate the progress bar update option by pressing the tab key. Tab. Enable speech checkbox checked. Tab. Speech system colon speech dispatcher combo box. Tab. Speech synthesizer colon default synthesizer combo box. Tab. Voice settings colon default combo box. Tab. Person colon English left paren and right paren combo box. Tab. Rate colon slider 50. Tab. Pitch colon slider 5.2. Tab. Volume colon slider 4.2 tab punctuation level panel most tab verbosity panel verbose tab table rows panel speak cell tab progress bar updates panel enabled checkbox checked as you can hear it's a checkbox which is checked by default this is the reason why Orca informed us how much percent of the page was loaded in the browser press tab again tab Frequency left paren text right paren colon 10 selected spin button. You would hear frequency in seconds. This is a setting which tells Orca how often you would like it to announce the progress bar updates if any. It is set to 10 seconds by default. Since we have not made any changes, keep pressing the tab key till you locate the cancel button and hit enter. Tab tab. Only speak displayed text checkbox not check tab. Speak multi-case strings as words checkbox not tab. Break speech into chunks between pauses checkbox checked tab. Say all by colon sentence combo bar tab. Speak blank lines checkbox checked tab. Speak indentation and justification checkbox checked tab. Speak object mnemonics checkbox not checked tab. Speak child position checkbox not checked tab. Speak tutorial messages checkbox not checked tab. Help button tab. Apply button tab. Cancel button. Return. Home spoken tutorial.org Mozilla Firefox frame. Now we are back at our web browser. In most distros such as Ubuntu, Fedora, etc., the default page for Firefox is set to a search engine called Google. However, this is not the case in my machine. If Google was not the default page in your browser, then you can still open it. For opening any website, you need to type its web address in the address bar. 
For this, we press Alt plus D. Right Alt, D, search bookmarks, and history text HTTP colon slash slash www.spokentutorial.org slash selected. Now the focus is in the address bar. Orca responded by saying search bookmarks and history and read the address which is in the field. You can press backspace once to delete the current entry. Backspace HTTP colon slash slash www.spokentutorial.org slash Now type www.google.com and press enter. W Return M Google search text. Finished loading Google. Google search text. If Google was not the default page, then Firefox will load it this time. Again, you can hear that Orca told us that Firefox has finished loading page for Google. Google is a search engine which we can use to find any information we want to. By default, we are put into the search box where we can type anything that we want to search. So, Let's search for Orca screen reader by typing it into the box like this. O R C A Orca Orcuton and Smart C R E E N Screen R E A D E R Reader. Now you can press the enter key to execute the search. Return. About 38,800 results left per end 0 0.12 seconds per colon. As you heard, Orca reads out the information provided by Google in our web browser. It told us how many results were fetched and in how much time. Well, now since we have some search results, let's see what we can do with the available data. In the browser, Google presents the results in sections called headings. On an ideally formatted web page like this one, information is classified in headings. But apart from headings, a web page also contains links to other places. To move between links, we press the tab key. So, let's press tab once to see if we have some links around. Tab. Images link. As you heard, Orca told us that there is a link called images. The pattern is that Orca first reads the text and then tells us that it's a link. That's why you heard Orca saying images link so we know that there are links on this page. For a blind person, it is always advised to press the tab key once the page is loaded. This confirms that the page indeed contains links. But what about those headings containing our search results? Okay, let's look at them right now. To move through the headings, you press the H key on the keyboard like this. H. Search results heading level 2. We heard Orca tell us search results. We also heard Orca saying heading level 2. This is the way in which smart web designers format their data. To make things simple, just keep in mind for now that the higher the number of the heading, higher is its position in a structure. Even the font size for different heading levels differs. Still confused? Well, just press the H key again and things will become clear. H. Orca, no live. Link. Heading level 3. Now, we are into the actual results which Google fetched for us. This time though, we also heard Orca announcing that the heading level is at 3 and it's also a link. So, you can easily notice that the search results was at the higher level heading at level 2 and all the results are heading level 3. Wish to confirm again? Okay, to go back one heading, press shift plus H like this. Left shift, H, search results heading level 2. There you are. Orca says search results, which is at heading level 2. Press H to move in forward direction as we did before. H. Orca, no live. Link. Heading level 3. Now, we are on the first result which is actually a link and is shown as heading level 3. 
you can press the down arrow once to read brief overview of this search result. Now, 20 upper 2010 dot 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 orker in a free open source scriptable screen reader using various noun combinations of speech, braille, and magnification orker helps provide dot dot dot. Since I am curious to know more on this result, I will hit enter on this link. Return. Loading. Please wait. 44%. Finished loading orca. No live exclamation. Home link. 100%. Right control. You can now read the loaded page with similar navigation keys. Press the H key to go to a heading. H. Live.gnome.org heading level 1. Now, you can also use the say all command you have learned previously in the tutorials for using Orca on the desktop. Just to recap, you can press the numpad plus key on the desktop or caps lock plus semicolon on the laptop. Caps lock semicolon live.gnome.org heading level 1. Search colon text search title button Grade text. Button. Grade. Home link. Recent changes link. Schedule link. Help for users link. Orca link. Translation of this page colon. As you can hear, Orca started to read the entire page. So, that's it for this tutorial. We have graduated to a new level of computer usage. So, until the next tutorial, this is Sagar and Duhita saying goodbye.